So as you can see, we are not in the marina anymore. Kylie's boat is anchored right behind me. And it's a reason for that. This could be a depressive episode about lockdown and shit, but it's not. Actually, instead, it's a brilliant way to show the reason why we left the marina and how the luxury of being a sailor affects our daily life. We can actually make a choice and we choose to leave the marina and to be out here to be free. In the previous episode I shared some of the fun we had last week and also some boat work. We had the feeling that we would face a lockdown pretty soon and was already discussing options on a daily basis. The weird atmosphere of panic shopping locals and big gatherings for testing and vaccinations became more and more present. Restaurants was either closed or only takeaway as my favorite sushi place here. Yeah, of course, you're my friend. Yes. Kylie and I planned for a movie night with Sushi, but also to watch the live update from the government of Grenada. Tonight's dinner for two. But before the movie, it was time to watch the latest updates. We have witnessed the realization of our worst fears. A bit dramatic and theatrical in my opinion. However, Kylie and I agreed this was our worst fears as well. The idea of being monitored and locked in a marina was not very appealing. And not even allowed to visit each other in the weekend makes no sense, as we already are hanging out every day. We plan to make a run to Karaku, as we rather stay outside Sandy Island during a lockdown. However, even though the Prime Minister one day earlier said no reason for panic, it's not gonna be a lockdown, the very next day he announced the new measurements, and we were already trapped in Grenada. So we decided to stop playing around, having fun, visit friends, and instead just wrap our things together and prepare for leaving the marina. I have a secret anchorage I would love to share with Kylie. So we finished up some work, made shopping lists for food and things that necessary for living off grid for a while. Luckily we still have our rental car together. Back to the marina, it was my turn to prepare for tonight's dinner. This is our last dinner in Port Louis Marina for a while. So I decided to make a pesto marinated chicken fillets wrapped in bacon and sliced potatoes with garlic and Provence herbs. Getting out of the marina finally. Yeah, it's time to leave. It's yeah. getting locked down, and we don't want to be trapped in this marina. Mm, yeah. So listening to the cruises net this morning, they were saying that essential businesses are open, but there's basically one at a time people or very few people into the stores. Um, and as employees in these essential businesses are getting COVID, what they're doing is just shutting down the business. So it seems progressively businesses are shutting down and there's a complete lockdown this weekend from 5 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Monday, where you pretty much cannot leave your boat except maybe to swim, but no going ashore, etc. So don't really want to be in the marina and apparently there's no visiting other cruisers boats. So we have a cunning plan. Yeah, we'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, out of here. I did a last run with jerry cans topping up with diesel and petrol, as we unfortunately expect this to only get worse before it's getting better. Even though we were suddenly trapped here in Granada, we still have the luxury of making our own decisions and choose how to and where to deal with this. Kylie still have a few projects and parts she's waiting for, otherwise I believe we would left Granada by now and sailed to another island. We have, in a positive way, been pushing each other to get things done and to get out of here. 
And who would know some years ago when I first bought B3 that her name should be such a strong expression as it is today. I struggle sometimes a bit to explain this feeling and how privileged I am to always have the freedom of choice and to be able to go where I want to go. But what I can say is this is definitely one of the things I value the most with my lifestyle. I choose to be free. And now we are on our way to my secret place, where we can raft up together and enjoy our lives. Not so much wind in the bay here, but once I got my sails filled with a nice breeze, I could shut down my engine and just enjoy being out here. B3 is stretching out her legs and I'm already sailing between 10 and 12 knots. Catching up on Kylie, that's the red triangle on this screen. Finally left the marina and it's a beautiful day out sailing. However, I might have a little problem. Uh, I kind of felt a little smell down below and uh, you know, like the smell of fried batteries. And uh, I managed to locate it to the starter battery for the main engine. So um, that's uh, not a good sign. So I tried uh, while I'm sailing to start the engine, but uh, I could not start it. Um, I have an extra start battery, but that's under the dinghy, down in the basement for the generator. And that's impossible to get out now while out sailing. So um, I'm enjoying my beautiful day out sail while I try to think of a solution. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I might just have to sail into the anchors and uh, drop my hook. But uh, well, this is a 55, so. <laughs> I prefer to have my engine when going into uh, shallow waters and uh, anchor, but uh, well, if you have to, you have to. So that's why it's a nice um, idea to, to practice to anchor your boat without using the engine. So, but we'll see. Uh, I will uh, let it rest and see if the solar managed to charge up enough, if it's possible to start engine. If not, I um, will have to sail in. We'll see. There is always a solution, and sometimes it just takes a little bit more time. I should have recorded my heave to strategy, as it's a bit different from traditional ways to do this, as I'm sailing a modern yacht. I might make a video about this topic later. My solution was to take out one of the batteries from my bow thruster and use this one as a starter battery, and this really worked out well. Because of my tiny challenge and I had to heave to, I arrived the anchorage a little bit later than Kylie but still in good time before sunset. Our secret lockdown strategy is to raft up together during this no movement weekend. No pressure. <laughs> I dropped my anchor in a different angle than Kylie and backing up against her with lots of chain out. So we can raft up together, pretending to be a catamaran.
Our rafting up project was not that successful because of some swells coming in here. So we separated early next morning. Good morning. Go for a run. What's that? You're going for a run. Yeah. Going for a run. So I'll see you a bit later. Yeah. Okay. I'm going uh, to buy a new battery. So I got my battery out. Um, I'm going to bring it with me to the store. See if I can find a new start battery for my engine. So um, yeah. I just want to get this battery off my boat at the same time. So. And the good thing is that we still have our rental car and we moved it from Port Louis and all the way to the beach here. So we can still access our rental car even though it's locked down. It's still possible to go and get some groceries and stuff like that. And buses and taxis will be a challenge. So that's why we decided to just keep our rental car. So yeah, let's go and change the battery. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably recognize this beach and even this park. This is where Ryman helped me cleaning my dinghy and furling my cold one Janaker after my furler trouble last time I was here. I really hope to see him again and have the pleasure of sharing a bear together. Thank you so much Ryman. You welcome my brother. Man. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I managed to get my hands on a new starting battery. However, it was not fully charged, so they told me that we were going to bring it back to me later today, after closing hour just before lockdown. And being Friday 4 o'clock, everyone is rushing home before 5, not to be arrested or fined. Happy to be back in paradise and to have a chill weekend. I love that you're like kayaking with this thing. <laughs> it's happy hour. You look pretty happy. I am. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, all the best. <laughs> <laughs>